everyone, thanks for joining us today. We're going to go check out some hidden gems around Ball State and Muncie. Let's get started. Hey guys, as you can see, we're in front of this beautiful mural wall here in downtown Muncie. This wall was made to show the acceptance and inclusivity of people from all different backgrounds here in Muncie, Indiana. It was made by a group of artists called the We're Trying Collective. And as you can see, the different symbols in the mural, like the hand and the equal signs, all symbolize equality and support everyone, no matter where they're coming from. It is an amazing spot to come take photos. Um, so let's see what comes next. All right, here we are at the Cardinal Greenway. It's a 62-mile set of connected trails all across East Central Indiana. And if you want to find a place off campus to walk, run, ride your bike, walk your dog, Cardinal Greenway is a great place to do it. Well, let's see what's next. Now we're in the Village. The Village is a business district located right outside of Ball State's campus. Students love it because you get the off-campus feel without having to walk super far. We have restaurants like Greek's Pizzeria, Jimmy John's, Insomnia Cookies, Brothers, and more. We are now here at Maiden Muncie in downtown. It's a perfect pottery place for you and your friends to come on in and paint whatever you like, whether that's a bowl, a plate, or a mug. It's your pick. No appointments needed, so feel free to come on in. You can do a workshop or a demonstration. It's also a super popular place for students to come and work if you're looking for a creative job. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hey, Alex. It's for you guys. He wants to show you the next location. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I've got him with me right now. Here we're at Minatristo, which is a 40-acre arts and cultural complex. It's got a museum inside. It's also where the original Ball Brothers houses were located. There's a weekly farmer's market you could attend, and they've had events in the past such as the Bob Ross Experience. Let's go to my next stop. Now we're at Berry Winkle, which is a locally owned frozen yogurt shop. It has over 21 different flavors and over 60 different types of toppings. I'm a really passionate person about sweet treats, so I love to come here, especially on Wednesdays, because of Weightless Wednesdays, where everything is one price regardless of how much it weighs. We are now here at the Caffeinery in Muncie. It's a local coffee shop. It's a perfect place for you to come and study or hang out with your friends or even come for a cute little coffee day. It's totally aesthetically pleasing and definitely Insta-worthy. I came here for the first time my freshman year and I 10 out of 10 would recommend it. They definitely live up to their slogan of exceptional coffee for exceptional people. Now on to the next location. Behind me here is one of the 12 traffic control boxes that was painted by the Muncie Cultural and Arts Council. Definitely want to check these out when you're coming to visit Muncie. They're beautiful. Some of them have cute dogs painted on them. And they're just all around the city. Now, let's go check out our last stop. Now we're at the David Owsley Museum of Art, or DOMA. The David Owsley Museum of Art has over 11,000 different displays of art from six continents. We also have auditoriums, which I've had some experience in with some theater stuff. We also do meditations. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions for our Office of Admissions about your application or admissions process, feel free to reach out to them. If you want to know more information about the Muncie and Ball State community, check out the link below. Bye!